have a Crayola eraser maker, which is a new product that Crayola just came up with and I am super excited. But at the same time, I feel like it's another episode of Will Crayola Break My Heart? Will they make me cry and just give me false promises and just make my heart break like this? I don't know. I don't know. And as you can see here, this eraser maker by Crayola has some kind of interesting mechanism. I have to say though, the box really is cute. Look at it. It's really colorful. It's really pretty. I love their rebranding. Now let's see if their rebranding actually fixes some of the quality control issues that we've had. Because on this channel, we may or may not have had some bad experiences with Crayola. I'll link a few in the description box below if you want to watch those. And in previous episodes, I've also made so many different kinds of erasers, used eraser kits. We even used the Mariah Elizabeth eraser making kit and made a gigantic pickle the dinosaur eraser again if you want to watch that video I'll link it down below kitty editor how many erasers did we use for that one I want to say we used 80 but I could be wrong it was huge I don't remember Grr, me good I am super excited to talk to you grains about today's sponsor and many of you have been wanting me to partner with them again math makers for those of you who don't know math makers it is an absolutely wonderful game where either you or the little one in your life can learn math without it seeming like like a math game. As you can see here, you're going through different obstacle courses in order to get to the next level, but you have to solve different kinds of problems. And recently, they just launched a new adventure introducing multiplications. Mathmakers really gives the little ones positive screen time and gives you some well-needed guilt-free time off. There are well over 600 different kinds of puzzles ranging from addition, subtraction, fractions, and the first steps towards multiplications so that learning happens just naturally. So much so that independent studies have been made by university researchers has shown that playing with math makers for three hours leads to significant gains in test scores by up to 10.5% which of course leads to more self-confidence. The math truly is baked into the gameplay. By melting ice with lava and solving fun puzzles, math concepts such as order of operations, place value, and more are naturally there. And what's great is that there are no in-app purchases and it is ad-free, but also one of my favorite things when I played this game is the customization of the characters. You know me, you can change a character's hat, a character's appearances, that's just my thing, and the art is absolutely gorgeous, the colors are pretty. I absolutely love this game, it's both silly and educational. That feels like me. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below as well as the pinned comment to get 30% off of Math Makers. Yes, you heard. 30% off of Math Makers, which is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you, Math Makers, for sponsoring today's video. So this is the first time I'm seeing an eraser maker with an actual station. So it looks like we have some kind of stamps some kind of pressing machine. I don't know, I'm not sure, but the picture does show some pretty cute erasers. We have some kind of fish, a smiley face. I'm guessing this is a cake. And also if we look at the front of the box, it does say it's three easy steps. We have mix, press, and make. However, in the last one that says make, in French it says les durcir, which means let harden. So how is it that make detailed designs, look at that, it's written in English, says make detailed designs, but in French it says harden it. There's a translation issue right over here. Hey, Crayola, get someone to fix this. Harden it and make detailed design. It's not the same thing, okay? We're starting off here. I speak of the French. I speak of the French and now I know you're not translating right. And again, if we turn the box around, it looks like we're still getting that whole mechanism. I'm really excited to see how they want us to use it. And how long does it take for a eraser to harden? Because previously eraser maker kits were bake. So you put them in the oven, they bake, and then you use them. This one is air dry. Right? I think. And at $20, this isn't actually a bad deal if it does work. However, I did do the Crayola marker mixer and that kit, let's just say it was more of a gimmick than a good product. If you wanna watch that, I'll leave all the videos I mentioned down below and let me know your opinion. Do you think this kit will be great or will it go? In the trash. And while you're down there, if you are new, make sure that you do subscribe and click on all notifications which will make you a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. Oh, don't worry. This sharp pointy thing is very wavy and I do wave it at you. This is how we wave to people by saying hello. Hello, friend. How you doing, friend? <laughs> now to find out if Crayola break of my heart, let's see what we get inside. Hello. Hello. Echo. Echo. 
So it looks like we're getting some kind of solution. I don't know if this is white clay or maybe it's the thing that we mix it with to turn the clay into air drying erasers. I don't know how that's going to work, but we have this thing, the station base. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a hole puncher or not, I don't know, I don't know yet. And then there's this box of molds. So let's discover those. Oh, oh, okay. You were in a hurry to come out. Hello there, Jackie. I'm a strawberry. Okay, a little strawberry. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so it looks like this goes on top and we have a strawberry mold. Very interesting. I think it's a strawberry. Looks to be a strawberry. And Dan, what are you? We have a cake mold. That is cute. I'm very excited to see if we can actually make different layers and how well do the colors actually blend. And more importantly, these are erasers. How well do these erasers erase? Especially they're air dry. It's gonna be very interesting. What else do we have in here? You are. They're all upside down, so let's see. What are you? Is Oh, that's the fish! So we have our own little Magikarp type fish. I mean, I love Magikarp, as you can see. I may or may not be biased by Magikarp. It's my favorite, okay? I love Psyduck and Magikarp. They're my babies. Who's next? Do we just have three molds? No, there's more. Okay, we have more in here. Let's fish you out. Get it? Okay, where are you? It's probably not another fish. Come out! Oh, well. All right, what are you? Is that a muffin? That's a muffin. Actually, it could be a mushroom too, but I have a feeling they probably want it to be a muffin. Let's put this cat back on, like so. And this is a snail, right? At least they think so. Is this broken? No, but I'm pretty sure it is a snail. We're gonna make all of these molds anyways. And what's this last one here? It's gotta be this, yeah, there it is, the smiley face. They couldn't think of anything less original. Maybe a unicorn head? I don't know, so far the fish one looks to be the most interesting for me. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. Is it the strawberry, the fish, the cup? cake, the cake, or the smiley face. The snail too. Wait, how many do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, we do get six. And then we have the primary colors. Blue. Wait, how many erasers can we make? For $20, how many erasers can we make? Can we make all six? The box does say make all six. So that's six erasers divided by $20. It was $20, right? $21. So each eraser is $3.50. Keep that in mind. That's if we make all six. That's an expensive eraser. Then we have yellow. That is really not much. Just look how little of the putty we're getting. Look at that. They're not even filling up the entire container. Look at this. Look at this. Mr. Crayola, why are you cheap? I know you're trying to save costs here, but it's going to be at the cost of losing clients. Did you think about that cost cutting? Hmm? Don't cheap out. Especially these are not your biggest issue here. Look at that. It doesn't fill out the entire container. It's so little. Give people more value. Give them more bang for their buck. Okay. This is this is disappointing, Crayola. This is disappointing. I'm starting to feel why I took a break from Crayola. I'm starting to understand why. There's two kits now, two recent kits that I'm not enjoying. Okay, so it does seem like this here is the activator that turns these colors into the eraser. So so we take one part of each and combine them. So we're gonna we're gonna figure that out together because that's what it says according to the black and white instruction guide. And no QR codes to any videos because we're we're not in 2023. I'm just saying. It's 2023. Why are there no links or QR codes to a video? Crayola, are you run by ancient people who do not know what the internet is? Okay, fix it. <laughs> fix it, please. And we also get three pencils that already have erasers. So we're gonna test Crayola's already erasers, these ones here, to their actual erasers. And then we're gonna try it against a proper eraser just to see the difference. All right, so according to the instructions, we put this here. We put the plunger thing over in here. Okay, got it, I think. Yes, got it. And then we're supposed to put these lids here for storage. So technically, these are made so that we can actually put holes so they can go on top of pencils. So they're basically pencil topper holders. Like, oh no, hang on, I got you. Like a so, okay. We're starting to look like a workstation. I'm not sure what this space is for, but we'll find out soon enough. And then the molds go over here. I mean, it's cute for putting things away, but who's ever put things away? <laughs> oh, as, as a little one, I've never put things away. And even now, as an adult, I never put things away. Nope. <laughs> I am one messy adult. <laughs> So let's go through the steps to figure out how we need to make our erasers because it looks like we need to use these things over here to measure it. Now, I don't know what's the difference between the small one and the big one, but I'm gonna read on that.
one eternity later. All right, so according to the instructions, the first step is to take a mold. So let's start with something simple like a strawberry. Despite the fact that there is the green part for the strawberry, but we can only work on one color at a time, except when we go to step two and then they complicate things. So let's just work one step at a time. And it says to slide it in here. Okay, this right, I guess. Okay, now we're supposed to take equal parts of the colors we want, so red and the activator putty, and we're supposed to put it in this little well over here. So let's, I, I don't like that they don't give us tools. Oh, look at that. See, it wouldn't have hurt you, Crayola, to just put a little bit of, you know, a little plastic knife or something like that. That is sticky. That is definitely sticky, okay? Or a little scoopy or something. So they say to put it in here and press it down. Okay, so we need a little bit more. Maybe we can fill this gap over there. Is this right? Feel like it is right okay we peel this out see this is where a scoopy tool would really help now i just have to peel it with my fingers crayola come on you're cutting costs in the worst places ever okay so we have the putty now we're going to take the red clay and we're going to pull another piece i have to say working on equal parts of a and b is pretty cool it's a nice mechanism to have an actual measuring thing so let's put that in here is this, is this good yeah that is good there we go i actually got it right this time all right we pull you out well, that one came out easier. And now my fingers are an absolute mess. This is mold making. I don't know how much of an eraser. This is really oily. I don't know if you grains can tell. So let's go ahead and mix this until it's basically one color. That's what they want us to do. Again, this feels like a mold maker. Maybe that's why this is expensive and they're not giving us much because that stuff is pretty pricey. All right, let me keep mixing until there's no more swirlies. Interestingly enough, we do have to sacrifice the pigment. So you can see that the red gets a little bit more pink versus red when we mix it with the the other compound. So you're not going to get the color you actually want. You have to think of it, it's going to get a little lighter. Next step here says to make it into a thin log. So my guess is that it has to be, oh my gosh, this is already hardening. Oh no, what the shrimp? That's not even, oh my God, this is already hardening. That is not good news for me. Oh no, oh do not. I barely spoke. Are you kidding me? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, let's do this quick. Then we're supposed to put it through here. Okay, this is not gonna work out. Put it through here, take this pusher and mash it. Go ahead, I don't know, I don't think this, grains, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. Garbage. Oh no, oh gosh, I am. That did not work out. Can I push this back in? Let's try that. Let's push you in. Okay, I push this in. There you go, let's take it out. Oh my God. I didn't know this was going to be a stressful activity. And then we take one of these and push it inwards like a so. Oh gosh, come on, I'm hurrying up. This is not working out. Hello? Hello? Okay, that is not working out. Oh no, the mold just wants to open. Wait, how do I lock this? I'm supposed to put it back in here. Okay, so we're gonna put it back in here. And just look at this, this wants to lift. This was really stressful. I'm gonna try to do this more quickly, but mind you, I feel like I was pretty quick already. Okay, I don't like this. So clearly we have an issue here. Now, what I'm curious about is how well do these putties actually mix? So I'm going to take a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna mix it with the blue so that we can get a green base. This one here and that one. And let's see how well these two are going to mix and if they're going to give us a nice green because I just want to try making something green. Why not? And the answer is, yeah, it's not a nice green, but it's giving us a green. Let me keep mixing that up. It's definitely a very desaturated color. It went from like, hey, look at me. I'm the perky color and I'm very pretty and vibrant to like writing emo lyrics, apparently. <laughs> Look at that, that is so washed out. Yeah, definitely a washed out green. Okay. Now, the other thing I noticed is if we look over here on the mold we just made, I think it's a little hard to see. It, this is not gonna work out. We don't have enough. Oh my gosh, this is just why. So it's okay-ish on this side, but you can see there's air pockets on either side. This is already hardened. And air pockets on this side. So I don't think we have enough Oh gosh, yeah, this, this is not, this is not ideal. I don't think they're telling us the proper measurements. We do have a well right here. There we go. We have a well for measurements, but this well is not enough. So let's pull you out and we haven't mixed it yet. Okay, so stop yelling at me. I'm not taking my time. We haven't mixed it yet. Let's go ahead and take the putty, the activator, and we're going to put it in here. Now I've done enough molds in my life to know part A and part B. I've also used, look at that. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Almost like I know from the first shot, I'm getting them all right. I've done molds. I've used epoxy. So I know what part A, part B look like. 
So we're gonna work much more quickly here. So let's take another mold. You know what? I'm feeling the sad and happy face. I hadn't realized, but there's a sad face on one side and a happy face on the other. It is smaller than the strawberry, so technically this should work. Let's go ahead and put you in here, all the way in. I'm gonna prep this and we're gonna mix it, okay? All in real time, all in real time. It does say to mix this for 30 seconds, but I honestly think 30 seconds is too much because it really starts seizing very quickly. So maybe I'm too efficient at mixing this and that could be the biggest issue. Okay, I think this is good. I think we're, we're doing good here. Yeah, I don't see any more swirlies. So I'm gonna go ahead, roll you out. There you go. I'm gonna put you in here. Oh gosh, don't, don't you, don't you dare go in. Yes. Well, that is not going in proper. Let's put you in. It's not working right. I'm gonna put you in here. I don't think there's enough. I really don't think there's enough clay in here. Okay, pull you out, put you in here. Oh, actually there is enough. And take one of these and push. There, I think this one's okay. I think we did, we did justice by that one, not the strawberry. Again, they're saying to wait at least half an hour before unmolding it and ideally overnight before starting to erase with it. So I'm just saying you have to wait the next day technically. So, and over 24 hours is even better according to the instructions. Now, unfortunately with these kinds of molds, because we have to push the darn, gosh darn log inside, there's no room for creativity. So I can't really work on the details because I mean, the box does say mix, press and make detailed designs. False, we cannot make detailed designs. We're just pressing the item on the inside and hoping for the best. Even when we can mix colors, it's basically a marble. And I'm gonna show you exactly how they want us to do this. Which honestly, I feel like the instructions are completely off because what they want us to do is make a big activator but then two small different colors and then mix all three together. Now if we properly mix all three together we're not gonna get a marble, right? So why not make four of the same size, mix the two with the activator and then blend it. Let me show you what I mean. Now for the fish, I do wanna kind of make it like Magikarp. So I do want to make orange and a mixture of yellow. So we're gonna have two different colors for that one. I'm gonna take something like this. I haven't made the small one, so I don't know how much I need. So we're gonna need a little bit of red. And let's see if we can get a pretty orange because we got that really muddy green, which I'm not a fan of, but I do wanna find out if we can make all the molds and how much extra will we have after that. That is a nice, orange. Okay, I can live with that. So first things first, let's make sure that we have enough of each color. So here we have yellow. Yep, right on. Put you aside. I feel like I have too much orange, but let's just see. No, apparently right on as well. Okay. It's like I'm a magician. And technically, if we were to follow their instructions, they would only want us to make one of this one, just one of the big one to mix all three together, which means we're not gonna get a proper marble. So instead, I'm going to give each color its own activator. I mean, it's one to one ratio, so it should not be a big deal. So here's one, this is for you. And the next one, yeah, there you go. This is for you. So before we start mixing, let's put our fish, hang on, you get out, get out of here, you're in the way. We're gonna put our fish mold safely under here. And the other thing is we can't really clean in there. How do I clean you? They didn't give us any cleaning material, no scrubby scrubby. I just can't get in there. So this is ready. We have our hole puncher ready. I think I'm gonna move these towards the back. There we go. So that I have space in the front to panic. So we're gonna take this and this and we're gonna start mixing them up. Now I'm doing double mixing here just because I don't wanna waste any space and I don't want any of you to say, Jake, you're doing it wrong, you're taking too much time. Look at that, I'm doubling it. I'm going with four fingers, uh, two pairs of fingers, two hands. I'm going in manual. <laughs> All right, this is pretty good, I think. That is nice. All right, we have a good mixture here. So now we're gonna marble them. So we're gonna make them into logs, twirl it around. We're working really quick. You brains can see, this is basically real time. We're gonna make it into a log. Very cute, twirl it a little bit more. Log, and let's go ahead and push you in. And let me bring you grains at the bottom here so you can see exactly what's going on. So I'm pushing top and in. So you grains can see, oh wow, this is already hardening. What the shrimp? There. I don't think this is enough eraser. I really don't think this is enough eraser clay, but okay, I'm pulling you out. Oh, actually it looks like it is. We're putting you in here. Stop falling you things. Dang, strawberry. Okay, and now we're going to put this cap right on top. Is it enough? I don't know, but here it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and make more. I'm gonna make all six because I'm curious how much leftover we're actually going to have. 
kind of want to touch it, but at the same time, I know I shouldn't because I need it to harden. Now, before we commit our entire hopes and dreams and future, let's go ahead and check this one. It's been well over 30 minutes. I was just doing other things in between. However, let's see what kind of mess this is because this one hardened way before we could get to it. So let's open you up. Oh, that is terrible. So we can, oh gosh, that is terrible. What is that? That is really bad. So my guess is because we didn't have the mold inside the mold holder and it started to open and then it just made this atrocity right here, which makes sense. Now the other two, we did make them properly, but we can't unmold them just yet. So yeah, this is a mess. I demand we do a retake. So I'm gonna do a redo at the end of this video for this one, but you don't have to watch me redo it. But we do have a snail that I want to try with their own technique of mixing and marbling, which is basically going to be one of this big one over here, like I saw, and two separate colors. So let's go with blue and yellow. So we'll add blue, perfection. Put you here. And the yellow. Voila, that might be too much. Voila, maybe a little too much. Voila. And, oh, well, that is still too much. <laughs> I knew I was a little too much. There you go, that's right on. So you can see here, we're doing the small well with each of the two colors. So each well will be half the amount you need to complete step three. And then working quickly, mix the three balls together for 30 seconds until the color's totally blended, then roll a thin log. So we're basically putting all three together. I'm really worried that we're not gonna get a marble, but then again, maybe I'm wrong. So we're gonna make a little ball. So we have ball number one, ball number two, and our activator. Now, before we do that, we add our snail to the mold holder. That way, we're rushing very quickly. And then we're gonna have 30 seconds on the clock and go. So I'm gonna mix it. I don't think this is gonna work. I really don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Crayola, what are you doing to me? This is 15 seconds in, and you can see the timer's gonna go by faster when I'm quieter. And that is 30 seconds. That is not an ideal marble. Let's go ahead and roll you out as a thin log. I'm gonna twist it just a little bit, just to hope that we get something interesting. And I'm gonna push you in as far as I can. There we go. In you go. Let's push, come on. There we go. There's not much I could do from here. Pull you out, put you in the compartment thing. Oh wow, that is, that is a mess. And now we're just gonna push this all the way through. I'm really excited to see what all these are going to look like. But now I'm just basically repeating the steps with different colors to make the different molds. I'm really curious, Crayola, are we going to have good erasers or not? I know it says half an hour to unmold and then overnight to erase. So let's just see where this goes. A little longer than a few minutes later. So here we are well over the half an hour mark. We have all six of them. So let's go ahead and do, do unmolding of one each. So here's the smiley and sad face. Let's pull this off. Okay, look at that. Let's pull you out. We're still getting that weird mold surrounding and oh, look at that. That actually feels pretty good. And we have a little bit of a scar. I guess the person with a scar was never a villain, huh? And we should have the opening over here for our pencil. Does that fit? Does it fit? Yes, it fits. Okay, that is nicely snug. I really hate the trims. They didn't give us anything to cut it with. That's on Crayola. Kit should include as much as possible. There were no tools. I'm so annoyed. What's our next one? What are you? Oh, okay, that's our fish. There's accidental green on there. That's gonna be bad news, isn't it? This one didn't spill out. So let's see what the fish looks like. Um, okay. At least this one turned out okay-ish. It looks better on this side. And this side is kind of a mess, but okay. <laughs> look terrible. We have to see how these are going to actually erase. And we're gonna do that tomorrow morning. You don't have to worry about that, just me. What is this one? Strawberry. I didn't remake a strawberry because our first one was an absolute disaster. Look at that. This actually looks decent. And the worst thing is, is that the molds were actually pretty tightly sealed, but we're still getting a part of the mold sticking out. Okay. And just to show you, this is the first strawberry we made. So definitely progress. You can see that it started hardening by the time we tried to put it together. So it made this weird shape. It kind of looks like a raspberry. Actually, raspberry. <laughs> I made two different berries by accident. Here we have our snail. And this one we did with their method of marbling, which is not the greatest, not the greatest marbling. And you can see it just doesn't work too well. It's really hard to see that it's a snail other than the twirly here. This here is my own marble. Let's see how well the colors take here. They're way more vibrant. And we got accidental green as well. So here's the cake and the weird piece of the mold sticking out. I'm not a fan of this, but it definitely feels more like an eraser than it does a mold maker because it's not as flexible unless it's really thin. Oh, hear that. Kind of fidgety. And last but not least, we have our cupcake, which I did also with a different kind of marbling technique. Cute. But again, with the annoying part of the mold, they should have given us tiny little scissors or at least something to shave the excess off. Can I pull it off? Kind of? Yeah. 
You need nails. Oh gosh, that is hard. Pinch it with nails. I usually don't keep nails, but I have some this time. That looks terrible now. <laughs> I think I ruined it. All right, so we're going to give this an overnight kind of stay and we'll get back to it and see how well they erase. The next day. All right, this is morning for me. I just barely woke up, so let's do some eraser tests. Here are all the erasers that we made. So we're going to test it not only in this over here, but I do have my sketchbook that I got from Jazza's kit. So if you want to check out Jazza's kit for an actual good materials, I will link the video to that down below. We had so much fun with my husband. We actually drew for the first time. So yeah, check out Jazza's kit too. He has amazing material if you're looking for art stuff. And for those of you who want to yell at me because I'm not using Crayola's material, we're going to use the Crayola pencil, okay? So it can't be that their erasers can't erase their pencils. We're going, we're, we're doing them a favor here. Okay, I don't have Crayola paper. Just back off. Just back off. Back off a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and write test. This actually writes really nicely. And I'm going to just do a little bit of smudging. Again, this is not hard. Here's hard. Okay, just so you have an idea. I'm not sabotaging this. We're very clear here. So let's use the eraser behind their own pencil as a test. This is a control. Okay, not the greatest, but let's see how much worse these can be. So let's go ahead and take Cupcake and see- Oh my- Oh my god, what is that? What is this? That's not an eraser! Are you kidding? That's a smudger! Okay, hang on, let's try again. Let's try a different shape. Maybe- Maybe it's just me. Let's- let's draw- let's just write Crayola. Okay, very lightly. Crayola. I know it's a mixture- <laughs> I know it's a mixture of capital letters and lowercase. My brain think different. Okay, so we're not gonna have the heavy smudging here. Let's take, let's take strawberry. Strawberry is gonna work, right? Oh goodness. Oh no, that is a smudger. That's not an eraser. Oh my god. Now this just messed up the entire paper. Let's try on paper paper, in case that's the issue. I'm just gonna draw a cute little bug-eyed character here. Okay, it's gonna be like this. It's gonna have cute little antennas, and it's gonna have funny little eye things, like a so, and a little smile. And his name is Albert. <laughs> okay, this is, this is what we're doing. Let's use the cake. We have our cake, and we're gonna erase that. Wow, garbage. Garbage! What am I waking up to here? Look, it's just smudging. Oh my god. Okay, this is absolute trash. I don't know, okay, it doesn't show as well here because I have the exposure set to high. Let me put the exposure set to normal. Here's the exposure set to normal. And here's the proper smudging, okay? There's no light difference so that things appear brighter. This is how it appears. That's what I mean. I'm not exaggerating. This is exactly how I see it. It's a mess. It's a, it's a garbage kit. Crayola, we're back, baby. <laughs> this love-hate relationship. <clears throat> So, um, here are your 10 reasons for not buying this kit. Mold hardens too fast. They cheap out on the basic materials. You can make about 12 in this kit, so it ends up being about $1.75 per garbage eraser. It is a garbage eraser. The mold sizes are not perfect to the actual instructions. The instructions are not actually good for marbling. It just ends up being muddy. When mixed, the colors are dull. You can't clean the inside with anything, so no cleaning materials. On top of that, no tools. And not only are the colors dull when mixing, but they're also dull after they harden. So there you go, 10 reasons not to buy this kit. It is absolute trash. So it goes. In the trash. If you want to watch more Crayola adventures, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch me make the micro crafts from Real Littles, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.